If you're watching this video, the odds are you are probably some sort of mental train wreck. I don't have to be the one to tell you men these days have become very soft, very fragile, very easily influenced, and not really what you would call mentally tough. The world is telling you to embrace your feminine side and to be in touch with your feelings, and it's okay to be emotional. And while yes, it's okay to be emotional, yes, I guess it's even okay to cry, you need to be mentally tough. You are a young man and you need to learn how to control your mind and not let your emotions run you. If you are soft in general, it will spill over into your business, it will spill over into your relationships, and you're gonna live a much worse life and you're gonna be a much less respected man than if you can be mentally solid and not be movable like everybody else. The biggest advantage that I think I have in business and life isn't that I'm the smartest, it's not that I'm the best looking, it's not that any of these things, it's that I'm more mentally tough than most people. I can handle a lot more stress, I can keep going for a lot longer, and I can work a lot harder because I can put up with the negatives that come with that. So in this video, I wanna show you guys how to be mentally tough and kind of some of the mental frameworks that I've used because I'm telling you, this is a real superpower, it will change your life and it will make you a much better man. Unfortunately, and both fortunately, I had all of this mental toughness kind of engraved in me as a young man, and it was kind of against my will. And the analogy I always make to people is, if you go to the gym, you have to force yourself to go lift and undergo pain and tearing down of your muscle to build muscle. You have to forcefully do it. But if you're a little kid and you're brought up in the world that I was brought up in, in abuse, getting beat on, mental manipulation, all this crazy stuff, it's forced upon you. And it's either gonna make you or it's gonna break you. And thankfully it made me but I was forced into it. It wasn't really my choice. Now the things that I do, like going and running four miles when I'm exhausted and my feet are broken and bleeding, that is a choice. However, I started off by this not being a choice. I started off by this being forced upon me. And because of that, I think I've learned a better perspective than most people on this topic and can help you guys figure out how to be mentally tough as well. Even if you come from a soft background, and you had good parents, you had a good upbringing, which is not a bad thing, but you still need the toughness. Comfort in today's world is the enemy. Everything is comfortable. I can order food to my house. I can order coffee. I can order whatever I want in this modern day and age, and I no longer have to go out, hunt, and compete to get what I want. And it's really conditioned modern man into being this soft, fragile, little weak shell of what he's supposed to be. Look at our grandparents, okay? Look at the generation that went and fought in World War II. Those were men. Those were actual men. Even at 19 years old, they're being sent across the world to storm beaches in the face of certain death, and they didn't complain about it. They didn't bitch about it. They came home. They didn't even really have PTSD in the way that we have it now. I'm not trying to like position, oh, like war is fine. You should be like, it's horrible. It's a horrible thing. It fucks people up. But that generation and then generations before, they were mentally tough. And it's because they were not conditioned into this feminism thing of be soft, be in touch with your feelings, be an emotional man. It's good to be emotional. I am extremely emotional. I feel things very, very strongly. However, the thing that I have that even a lot of my friends don't have is I can separate every bit of emotion I have from a decision. I can look at it purely logically because I'm in control of my mind. And that is a part of the mental toughness. So the first thing I wanna talk about is understanding how dumb your fears actually are. People in today's world, the guys that I speak with on a daily basis, the young men, they are literally scared to do outreach. They're scared to take a sales call. They're scared to sit in their apartment on their ass and type on a computer. That is absurd. And the first step is reframing how silly your fears actually are. Okay, bro, you're scared of going and getting a client and making yourself wealthy. You're scared of doing outreach to go make $10,000 a month. You're scared of spending $1,000 for a coaching program like ours. You're scared of that? You're scared of spending $1,000 for the potential to make $10,000 every month for the rest of your life. Like that is a very irrational, wrong way to look at things. And that's the first thing, is you have to understand that the fears that you have are what is holding you back. And I make a lot of videos about this, guys, but the fear you have of taking that leap talking to the girl, talking to that client, being scared to ask for money, being scared to close the deal, to even do outreach, to send DMs. That fear is the biggest limiting factor in all of your success. And think about it from your ancestors' perspective. Like if you don't come from money, I can't imagine telling my grandpa who used to walk miles and miles and miles and miles to get to work, to work at like a convenience station out in the country. He used to walk on foot miles just to get to work because they didn't have a car, they were poor. Imagine I tell him I'm scared to send messages with my thumbs on my iPhone to make $1,000 a day. It's ridiculous, okay? So the first thing is, 
We need to understand that the fears we have are bullshit and that we are much greater than we think we are. Your self-image of yourself is much greater. You are capable of so much more than you believe. And all these little fears have been instilled in you in your whole life. And we need to get them off the table. We need to get them out of the way so that we can actually develop ourselves. Even if failing sounds scary, it's really not because if you position it and understanding the more I fail, the more I succeed, then you're gonna want to fail. And this is the whole trick to everything, okay? It's like handling an objection. It's like fixing everything on a sales call for somebody else, but do it to yourself, okay? My fears are irrational. I have much greater upside than I do downside of taking risk and failure is actually a good thing. I shouldn't be scared of failing. I shouldn't be scared of being embarrassed. I shouldn't be scared of posting content online. I should be willing and desiring to go do that because I know the more I fail and the more fear that I go embrace, the more success I'm going to have. Number two is physical and fighting. So I really, really think that we are very cerebral beings, right? We're very smart. We use our brains, but at a primal level, physical pain and fighting and fear of like actually engaging in combat with somebody is one of the best ways that I found to develop mental toughness and make him start fighting, make him get punched in the face. And he'll realize one, it's not that bad. So all my fear I had of getting punched in the face, being scared of fighting this guy, it's really not that bad. But two, he's gonna build confidence. And that confidence will turn into mental toughness because he knows I can sit and get hit on, I'm gonna be fine. Or even if it's not fine, even if it hurts, I can get through it. That's what mental toughness is. Mental toughness is being in control of your mind. It's understanding that you can roll with the punches. And even if you lose, even if you get that shit beat out of you, you're still fine. That is the first step in developing the actual toughness that you need. Going on really difficult runs, going and doing a really, really difficult workout, going and sitting in an ice bath, that's pain. Going and fighting, going and doing really scary physical things is a great way to kind of temper yourself and build that mental toughness because it's something you can control. Anyone can go lift weights, go on a run. Running's fucking hard. You can go fight and go join a gym. You can do these things easily. So that's why it's the first step in developing this. And not to mention, like, if you can go get punched in the face, are you going to be scared of sending DMs? Are you going to be scared of taking a sales call? No, because you're going to realize how silly it really is when you see real fear or real danger or the real threat of your life being taken. And I don't mean this in like some ego tough guy way. I'm serious. Like you go to a gym and you fight a guy way better than you. He could kill you. He really could because you couldn't do anything about it. And it will really rationalize your brain into being like, okay, that's real danger. That's real fear. Sending DMs and taking sales calls is not fear. And then you will understand how easy that actually is. The third step is learning to embrace the voice. Now, what do I mean by the voice? The voice to me, I believe there's two of you inside of every person. There's the me right now that I'm talking to this camera. You guys see me. I have my own internal dialogue, but I'm talking to you. This is like one version, but the other version is the subconscious inside of me. It's the thing inside my own head that I talk to. And all of you have this, whether you know it or not, you need to figure out how to unlock that guy. You got to figure out how to speak to him. And you got to figure out how to hear his voice because his voice is much wiser than your animal brain and the outwardness. That internal voice is what's going to hold you accountable. It's going to be like, hey, you're being a little bitch right now. He's not a nice guy, but that voice is what's gotten me here. That voice believes in me. That voice holds me accountable. And I can hear that voice very, very loudly. Okay. When I do psychedelics or when I go on a really difficult run or I go do something challenging or I'm through a lot of stress, like this was one of the most stressful weeks of my life, but look how chill I am. I'm fine. I'm great. I'm awesome because I know what the alternative is. Oh, I'm stressed out that I'm dealing with business and I'm making hundreds of thousands of dollars a month and I was on a boat with a bunch of pretty girls and I'm smoking cigars with my boys. Yeah, that's real stressful. It's positioning and it's understanding that I can hear that little voice in my head and I can know what's real. I can know what's not real. I can know, am I lacking? Am I being soft? Am I being a little bitch right now? And do I need to go be tougher? And that voice is the mental toughness inside of all of us. And I believe you just have to figure out how to unlock it. And that's going to be done by meditating. That's going to be done by not sitting on your phone, like go sit in silence with yourself for hours and see what pops in your head. It'll go down some dark pathways. You'll go down some crazy stuff because we don't sit with ourselves ever. We just sit in noise. We sit on our phones. We're scrolling all the time. When's the last time you sat with just yourself and you really got to know yourself? Like, who are you? A lot of people don't know themselves, you know? And I, I talk to students of ours on these calls all the time. They don't know themselves. They're like, bro, how do I develop mental toughness? I'm like, are you proud of yourself? Well, no. Do you actually know yourself? No, I don't. And they realize and like, oh shit, I don't even know who I am. Like who is the guy inside of you? What is he willing to do to get what he wants? What is he willing to go through? How much pain can he endure before he breaks? If you can figure that out, you will never struggle with mental toughness again in your life. And every other challenge that you have in both business, 
dating, relationships, life, people dying, like just bad things are going to happen. A time will come when bad things happen to you and it all depends on how you take it and how you roll with it. I believe at this point, I am unfuckwithable. I am unbreakable, nothing can break me. Even if it's the worst thing ever, it may break me for a week, but I'm back. You cannot keep me down no matter what happens to me. And it's because I've developed that toughness, I've developed that belief in myself, and I am confident enough that I can go through no matter how much it is, I can go through any amount of pain, suffering, stress, and I will still remain fine, and I will still remain calm, collected, and logical, because that is who I am. And that is what you need to become as a young man. You need to understand that you are the leader, in your family, in your relationships, the women around you, your family, your parents, you are the leader. If you have a team and the leader, if you watch any movie, the leader can never freak out. The leader always has to be calm. He always has to be collected. He always has to be logical because the second that your emotions overwhelm you and your emotions control you, you are no longer a man. You are now a boy. We want to be in control of ourselves and master our mind. And it's done by doing what I told you in this video. You need to understand that just watching this is not going to do anything, okay? You need to go apply it. You need to go get yourself into physical pain, into real fear, into real stress, and you need to incrementally raise the amount of work and the amount of stress and the amount of training that you're doing because eventually, like even I could get soft. I could still get soft. If I stop training and I take all my money and I go just party in Europe with girls all the time and I'm just chilling, I'm gonna get really soft. And then somebody that's really, really hard, like I am now, will come take my lunch. They will fuck me up. And I know that, I know that for a fact. So you need to go apply all of these things. You don't need to just hear this and be like, okay, I feel good, I watched a YouTube video. Go apply it, join a gym, go put yourself in physical stress, go learn to master your mind, go learn that your fears are completely irrelevant and that everything you've ever wanted is on the other side of fear, okay? Whether it's a thousand dollar investment into a coaching program or whether it's going and joining a gym or whatever it is, everything that you want is on the other side of that fear. So put it to the side, become mentally tough and go become the man that you know you can become. I believe in you guys and I'll see you on the next video.